hey you guys it's your girl kim welcome back it has been like a very long time maybe months since i uploaded a video but i have been like still on instagram still on social media i have just been doing life let me just like tell you guys what has been going on okay let's just spill some tea there was plans um that i was making to move to a different state and like do this big like like life change um but it kept getting pushed back and it's and now it's been pushed back like three times and the reason that i had stopped making youtube videos was because i had already packed all of my makeup all of my belongings because i was ready to go so i basically unpacked all of my makeup i unpacked my lights and everything uh so because like i'm tired of waiting and i i want to make more youtube videos and i didn't want to like wait longer um i bought an eyeshadow palette online and i i just got it in the mail <clears throat> it's still boxed and everything i haven't um like i haven't opened it and i wanted to open it with you guys if you hear a lot of noise in the background i have family over my mom's making tamales and then my niece is here with her daughter my dad just got home from work so everybody's like all rowdy in the other room in the kitchen in the kitchen area um, so if you hear like all of that going on, that's what's going on. I picked a terrible time to want to film. Like I was in the mood to record a video and then people started coming home. So I also just got out the shower. I took a little shower. So yeah, my hair is like wet. It's like wet, wet. I literally just look. I, ah, it's too wet. Maybe I need to put my hair up. It's too wet. And I dried it too comes bubble wrap okay and it's kind of already opened so i'm hoping no eyeshadows got damaged while like in transit it is a collab palette that jeffree star did with morphe morphe x jeffree star and then you slide it out of the bubble wrap and it's a pink palette it says morphe x jeffree star i only bought the palette and in the back of the palette it has a picture of jeffree star and um he like wrote like a message on the back like he looks so good his makeup his eyeshadow like everything looks really good except for the fact that his hand is a lot whiter than his face like his face is like look at his hand and then look at his face but yeah really cute message really cute packaging it has a mirror and then it has the little sheet and then these are the shades Oh my god these are swatching like so good i'm going to take my um maybelline tattoo studio brow pomade in the shade 382 which is black brown and when you buy it it comes with its own little brush which is what i've been using And I'm using the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 16. So I'm going to use a sponge. This is an e.l.f. sponge. It's like $5 at the drugstore. It's this purple one. And I'm going to use it to kind of blend out the concealer on the eye. I'm going to take Mr. Diva shade mr diva i'm gonna dip my eyeshadow brush in that and just set everywhere now i'm gonna go back with the bh 122 brush and pick up that lime green shade which is called wake and bake and start putting that in my crease as my first shade Just stamping it in my crease. 
can pick up more of Mr. Diva on that brush and then blend. And then I'm going to go back in with the other brush, the one that I used to use Wake and Bake. And take Nate and put him in my crease. So I'm going to cut my crease and put on the silver and see how I'm looking. I might start over. Taking the, the brush that I used to carve out my eyebrows, which is like this flat brush. It's the Morphe M124. And the same concealer that I used to carve out my eyebrows. I'm trying to do like a half cut crease. to take my Morphe M167 which is like a really big flat brush looks like this and I'm going to pick up custom rims which is that silver that I swatched take a makeup wipe and kind of clean like all that fallout because like I have a shit ton of fallout so like this is like one eye done gonna line it with some black so I'm gonna take the um, the shade fast lane and like a flat brush like an eyebrow brush almost and take the black eyeshadow and then do my lash line okay this is like That's like one eye pretty much done. It was a struggle to get there. Okay, that's the, that's it. Enough. These are the eyes. L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. I'm in the shade 425. And I'm gonna use this foundation today because this is the foundation I've been using. Ooh, this is like a two hour video boy I'm at one hour and 47 minutes that I've been doing my makeup you know the eyeshadow part is the most time consuming but after you finish the eyeshadow and do your base it's like so quick I'm using the Kat Von D shade and light cream contour and I've been using the lightest shade on a flat like foundation brush Just don't buff it down because then it'll get muddy and you'll lose your contour so buff it up And then we gotta set that cream contour with a contour powder. I've been using lately is the Maybelline City Bronzer in the shade 100. Yep, shade 100. So that's what I've been using to contour, cream contour, and then set my cream contour because I like a really soft contour. I don't know, I think it just looks better. So I'm going to take a lash curler and curl my lashes. I'm going to take a black eyeliner and line my waterline. This is um, Rummel, Rummel London Scandal Eyes Waterproof Liner. Going down. The shade Nate with my Morphe E36 under my lower lash line. 
Now I'm sure you can't see, but it's like all over my cheeks. So if you're gonna use that, I would definitely say use like some type of glitter glue, which I do have glitter glue, but I didn't think I'd need it. But I definitely recommend using glitter glue. There's one pressed glitter in this palette, which is called Millions. Um, and Custom Rims was a metallic shade in this palette, but it's like all that glitter in that metallic is falling down on my um, like cheek area on both sides. There's still sand. Mm. Really good highlighter. This one from NYX, it's one of the wooden pencils. It's called um, London. Okay, and for lipstick, from CoverGirl, it's $225. Do we like this lip? So this is with the CoverGirl shade 255 Dallish Lipstick. You can use the same lip liner, so the same lip liner NYX in the shade London. It's the pencil lip liner. It's a little rough on the lips, but... It does get the job done. Essence number five, this is nude. I think both of them look good, but I prefer this one. Jordana Cosmetics in the shade 04, don't be late. It's a lip gloss. Love it. So good. This is the makeup. I hope you guys <clears throat> liked it. Let's kind of go over that. So this is what it looks like. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So... The eyeshadow palette, like packaging wise, very classic Jeffrey with the pink. Beautiful holographic like letters on it. It's like really nice. I do like the packaging and I love the fact that it has a mirror in it. And okay, so like let's go over the shades I used. I used shade Mr. Diva, which is this shade right here. This is a shade that I used all over my eyes to set the concealer. And then I went into Wake and Bake, which is this lime green shade. <clears throat> and I put that in the crease. I really try to build it up as much as possible. So it's like that light green in the crease that you guys see. That's what I have basically in the crease is Mr. Diva and um, Wake and Bake. Like in the crease in the outer corner, a little bit in the crease, not so much. Mostly in the outer corners, I have this shade Nate. The eyeshadows are really pigmented. They pack on really well. The only thing that I was experiencing is a lot of fallout. And even Mr. Diva and Wake and Bake, even though they weren't falling like on my face, there was a lot of kick up in the pans themselves from like you know putting my brush in there so yeah very powdery and like like fallout just warning for anybody that doesn't like the fallout but like in my cut crease moment and it's called custom rims which is like this metallic silver which is the one that i swatched on my hand but it's really beautiful really metallic the only thing that i didn't like about it though um, it swatched beautifully and it applied really beautiful. It applied like the swatch. 
so there was no difference between the swatches and like the actual application on the face the thing about this metallic shade and i don't know if it goes for all the other metallic shades i only use this metallic shade for today but it was falling like all over my face like the glitter in this metallic shade were like just falling 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 um and that's annoying because now i have like so much glitter especially on this side there's glitter in my inner corner and on my lower lash line from that shade and then the glitter that fell onto my face so yes and um but i don't mind the fallout like with the matte shades but the fallout from that metallic shade i don't like because it's falling onto my makeup onto my base and that is kind of annoying but yeah, I only use that shade, so I can't really talk about all the other shades if they're if they're gonna do that same thing or it's just that one shade. I don't know. And then I went back into Nate for my lower lash lines. It looks kind of blue. It kind of has like a blue undertone. I I want to say it has like a blue. I'll swatch it. I actually swatched it on my hand something about the undertone of this green is coming off blue like a little bit of a blue in it compared to the lime green compared to wake and bake yes so there's that oh and i also used this black shade here which is called fast lane and i use that to kind of smoke out my lash line not not smoke it out but to kind of give an illusion of like black liquid liner and i kind of did wing it out just a little bit like a little baby wing nothing crazy because i'm not like a big like wing person anyway so but yeah i really liked all of the mattes the black one did fall out there was black fallout on my cheeks so I, um so as long as a eyeshadow is pigmented and blends out pretty good the fallout and stuff doesn't bother me i'm not a, the person that is bothered by fallout um because you know i'm like more drugstore anyway so a lot of drugstore or affordable eyeshadows tend to fall out sometimes so like the fallout doesn't bother me it's just kind of like one of those things i don't care for but like i said some people do like make a big deal about the fallout and stuff and i definitely get it especially when it came to this metallic shade custom rims that that glitter fallout that's what i don't like is like metallics fall, like falling on the face because it's just glitter and it kind of ruins the base so it, my base doesn't look as best as it could because of the glitter it's literally all over like literally everywhere if you're watching this video i appreciate it like i appreciate that you're even like taking time out of your day to sit and watch my video because you don't have to like you really don't have to so <laughs> yeah i appreciate that thank you so much i'll see you guys in the next one bye